This is the third question I'm dealing in the topic approximation of application of derivative. The question is saying here find the approximate value of root 26. Okay, uh, my dear friend, uh, if we have this 26 a perfect square number, then it had been very, very easy to find out the under root of uh, anything, you know. Uh, I mean to say just like if it was a perfect square number like 25, 16, 4 or anything, you know, like, like let, let's say, let's say if 26 was like something like 16. 16 is a perfect square number and uh, root over 16 means actually just 16 to the power 1 by 2. Anything root means that's power 1 by 2 and 16 is a perfect square number. I already told you that's 4 to the uh, four, 4 square and that's 1 by 2. And this 2, 2 will cancel up and you'll get the value 4. How easy it is to find out. But my dear friend, this 26 is not a perfect square number. We have to do a lot of struggle now to find out this. Okay, so to find out the value of this under root 26, we have to go on calculus. We have to use the differentials. We need to apply here derivative concept. And in this section now, I'm not going to show you graphically those all analytical things, understanding things that we deal in the last two previous videos. We deal there very nicely. If you want, uh, then you can go back and then you can check it up how we did actually. So here I will basically uh, follow the thing we do in the notebook, you know, while solving this. All right. Uh, so this is how you need to do in your in your notebook. Now let's find out the value of under root 26. And I have told you whenever you are starting uh, finding the approximate value, then you need to th think a function which is exactly like the given uh, given value, right? And our given value is under root 26. So we have to suppose a function like under root x. And once you suppose the function, at the same time you find out the derivative of that. Okay, we find out the derivative of that. That is 1 by 2 x to the power 1 by 2. Uh, I know you are very good in finding derivatives. So you find the derivative root x, you'll get 1 over 2 x to the power 1 by 2. And exactly after that, you write the formula for the approximation. And the formula for the approximation is delta y is approximately equals to dy, and which is actually dy over dx times delta x. Here, delta x and dx both are same, right? You can write here dx also if you want. That's not the problem. And in another way, if you want to write, then uh, see here, delta y or dy, whatever you say, these are actually the difference of y coordinate. So which is, uh, which is actually, uh, you know, y2 minus y1. And in the place of y2, you can write f of x plus delta x. And in the place of y1, simply y, that is f of x. And is equals to d over dx, that's actually a derivative. So f prime of x times delta x. Okay. And now let's write this f of x plus delta x equals f of x plus f prime of x times delta x. And now next time onward, I'm not going to show you this. Directly, I will use this formula, all right? This is the formula for the approximation, okay? Approximation of anything you can do with this, with this formula, okay? And once you write the formula, the next step is you have to imagine x. And imagining x is a little difficult sometime, but here it is very easy. Uh, see, the, the, the given thing is here under root 26. So always you see the power of the base. 26 has here power 1 by 2. Okay. So means you need to find a such a number as x. x will be equals to p, you know. And p should be such that p to the power 1 by 2 should easily result some number. Keep in mind. All right. And next thing, p should be very close to 26 also. Here is 26. So you can take a little uh, bigger than 26 or you can take a little less than 26. If you take uh, bigger than 26, that's 36, which is the square of 6. And if you take less, that is 25, which is the square of 5. And we need to choose the closest number, which is 25, than the 36. So here, x, we need to imagine like a 25. All right. And here, delta x will be the increment in 25. I mean, x2 minus x1. I mean, the x2 is here 26 and x1. I mean, that is x is 25. In the graph, if you see, that's 1. All right. So increment uh, is 1. It means from 25, how much bigger is 26? Whose root we are going to find out, all right? So it's just 1. Now we need to mention x. So let x equals to 25. Uh, resulted that delta x is equals to 1 because this is actually a difference, you know, 26 minus 25. Keep in mind. Okay, so our formula get changed to f of 25 plus 1 is equals to f of 25 and then plus... Uh, f prime means derivative of 25 times delta x. So f of 25, that is f of 26, okay? And f of 25, when you plug the value of 25 in the, in the, in the, in the function, see, if you put x, you'll get root x. If you put apple, you'll get under root apple. If you put 25, you'll get under root 25, which is actually 5, all right? 
so it will be under root 25 and then f prime of 25 see f prime of x is 1 over 2 x to the power 1 by 2 so if it is f 25 so it will be 1 over 2 25 to the power 1 by 2 all right so same thing i'm doing here so it's going to be 1 by 2 25 to the power 1 by 2 all right this is 1 over 2 and then delta x delta x is the difference and that is 1 okay so further f 26 is 5 plus uh, this is uh, 25 to the power 1 by 2 so it's 1 by 2 and that that's actually 5 you know this is 5 square you can say 5 square and 1 by 2 okay fine so you get 5 plus 1 over 10 and you know what is f 26 the function f of x is under root x so f of 26 is under root 26 and that's equals to now this is 5 and this is 0 0.1 so 5 plus 0 0.1 that is 5.01 this is how we need to find out the approximate value using this differentiation